What is going on everybody, it is Scout with three guns down as always, and I'm bringing you another gameplay from the Halo Infinity Challenge. Been having lots of fun on this, I actually slacked off yesterday because I was doing the Precursors uh, lore video, it took me about six hours to get all that together. Uh, but yeah, getting back into it, uh, this was a gameplay footage from yesterday, earlier that day actually, uh, playing with uh, one of my friends, Outrage. Good friend of mine, known him for a while now, him and I together rate pretty hard. Uh, we, we had several games, we had one game where... Uh, the other two guys weren't doing jack shit, and, uh, we went, uh, 22 kills and, like, 18 deaths, and he had 24 kills and, like, 13 deaths. Uh, we still lost that game, because the other guy was, like, negative 20, though, so. Uh, but, hey, what are you gonna do? This one was a pretty good game. Uh, we got a little bit campy in this room. Using sword and shotgun, but ah, uh, can you blame us? It's always fun being a little campy with the sword and the shoddy. I was kind of pissed off when the other guy on our team took the sniper rifle and then he pulled off that shot. And I was like, you know what? He can keep it. <laughs> uh, mentioning the lore series videos, if you're interested in watching those or if you have been watching those and keeping up with them. Uh, the human one, uh, or the next lore series video will be about the forerunners, uh, in that current time during the precursors and the original war with the humans. Um, that one may take up to a week because there's a lot of information, uh, and it may end up being 40 minutes long. I don't know if I'm gonna, I kind of tried to explain a few things to fill the gaps there about the flood, uh, you know, fill time gaps about their flood and their technology and how some of it might be possible. A lot of nerdy tech stuff if you're interested. If not, you know, you really don't have to watch the first 15 minutes of it to understand what happened with the precursors. Uh, but, yeah, it's, science is kind of my thing. I'm not so good with math. Good with math and physics, just not trig. Hate trig. Trig's evil. So, yeah. We were having a lot of fun with this, though. We actually, later on, we were playing in some custom games, and we got our octagon back. Friend of us, a friend of ours made it for us, finally pulled that file. We were doing a lot of no-scope challenges, uh, how we warm up. And, um... I'm getting my groove back some with the sniper rifle. That's a fail sword by me right there. I can't believe how much I failed at that sword. It was pretty pathetic. Uh, lots of nading, though. Um, yeah, I don't like complex for 4v4 Slayer. It feels just slightly too big. Uh, and, you know, people like that right there, he used that. He kill I got killed because I was double teamed. But he used his hologram way too early. Uh, you know, guys, don't use your hologram if they can see you. It doesn't work. Uh, generally, it doesn't work for me. It may confuse a couple people in like terms of aiming, but it almost never confuses me. So, you know, if you're clever with it, use it around corners, use it to evade, like running, get cover, then use a hologram and make it seem like you're still running and they'll shoot at you. You can circle back around and hit them. That works pretty well, but using it out in the open like that, <sighs> you're just kind of wasting time. You're, you may be distracting yourself trying to get out of it, you know, try not to. And I missed that badly, but then I got him back with the melee. You know, I like my bolt shot. It's just I, I sometimes, w when it when I charge it up like that, I forget the reticle's there. And if I aim with it, I'd actually hit him more. And I try to think of it more as a shotgun blast than anything, which is probably a bad idea. So remember, you still have that reticle when you're charging your bolt shot. Uh, and, you know, try to keep it on him. It's actually got a pretty effective range on it uh, in terms of as a shotgun weapon. Um with that charge not so effective using a single shot I use it in a pinch uh, for instance if I don't have time to switch my DMR or if they are already very low on health and I could possibly take them out with several headshots um, yeah try not to use it on single fire that much great with uh, you know the charge shot absolutely great and I was walking to the hornet's nest right there there's one guy sitting behind me with a shotgun he was sitting right there with I don't know what he had uh, actually, the guy that killed me, uh, but the guy that killed me was behind me in that room. Um, the other thing I was noticing is uh, I came across a guy who was very gifted with the saw. He could almost consistently nail you in the head with it. I am not that gifted with the saw, as you will see here in a minute. Uh, I generally just try to body shot with it. 
This guy was headshotting people consistently with the saw and taking them down so, so quick, making it look ridiculously easy. He went on a killing frenzy in that game. And it's just, it's... Now I really want to learn how to headshot with the saw better. Um, and it is kind of hard because the aiming reticle spreads out and your hitbox pretty much becomes that square after some, uh, so many shots. But, um, this is a nice random nade kill. Well, it wasn't random. It was a little bit more planned, but... Let's see, that hologram did confuse me because he was... Yeah, I, you know, my view was obscured and he was just running at me. Uh, the thing with the hologram is sometimes it does take me a second to realize, even if I am shooting at him, so I need to get better on the recognition part of that. Corey was going on a mean streak with a shotgun. He was just absolutely tearing him up at the end of this game. We both finished well. I was 19 and 13. He was 22 or 23 kills. He was up there. Um, just as an idea of what I use in my loadout, I have the three frag grenades, uh, dexterity, um, bolt shot, uh, jetpack, and DMR. I like the DMR a lot more than I like the battle rifle. I was hoping I'd like the battle rifle a lot more than I like the DMR, <laughs> but they've improved the DMR from reach quite a bit, as most of you already know. Fail, bitch. I think he actually could. No, he doesn't. Haha. <laughs> I'm Jesus. Um, and I still like the DMR more. Uh, uh, but the, the battle rifle does have some interesting qualities. I don't think the battle rifle should be allowed to use in SWAT for the reason that people that are pretty gifted with it can learn to do a spread technique that I've seen several times, and basically it's by moving it, moving your reticle so quickly while you're aiming, you can actually fan the three round burst shot out. Uh, and effectively giving it three total separate trajectories so you can cover a small area if they're moving or strafing and take care of people that are strafing and SWAT quite easily. Um, and I haven't had much practice with trying that or bothered trying that. I really don't want to. I want to focus on, you know, keeping my headshots down consistent with the DMR, getting my no-scoping abilities back with the sniper. Uh, you know, those are the main things I want to focus on. No scoping with the the beam rifle, I'm actually really, really good at. Um, but for some reason, I have a very hard time doing it with the, the sniper rifle. I don't know if it's... I feel like partially because it's a, the reticle difference. Um, there was another guy in the corner with the shotgun that killed me. But I feel like it's the reticle difference between the beam rifle and the sniper rifle. And, uh, and I say that because... <clears throat> uh, the reticle difference... Um, the, the, the beam rifle has kind of like a, a set in and out part. Um, I mean, it has the two sides and then it has a free middle, where the sniper rifle is just a dot, and it's a much smaller dot than the uh, DMR. Um, I, I feel like it's tougher. It's not. Uh, I should be able to aim with it just as easy as I do the DMR, and, and sometimes I do, sometimes it just clicks and I am able to aim that easy. But, I don't know, there's just, it feels different than it used to. It might be me where I get panicky in those kinds of situations. Nice double kill there. Of course, I had damage boost, so. Um, but, yeah. Damage boost in the saw, for those of you that haven't had that combination, is magnificently OP. Kill Tacular with it on Big Team Battle. Just walked out into a guy, you know, a, 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 an open area of guys, and just mowed them down like nobody's business. You can see me and Outrage here actually working quite well together. We do work very, very well together. Um, I think we actually ended up losing this game uh, because of our teammates. You can't... Oh, no, we won. Were we red team or blue team? We were blue. Okay, yeah, we were blue. But, uh, you know, t t to make a note and a fair point, you can't carry a team in Halo, no matter how good you are. If you have 30 kills and the, uh, the other three people suck, um, they could have all 60 deaths spread out amongst them, and you might have two, ki two deaths and 30 kills. So, it is very difficult to carry a team in Halo. It's possible, but very difficult. Um... That's pretty much it for this video. We're going to keep bringing you daily videos of the Halo Infinity Waypoint Challenge. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, put them in your favorites. It helps us out, guys. We enjoy spreading the love to the community. And we're also going to be hosting lobbies, so check out our Twitter. We'll probably have two or three random people come join me and Chris while we go play the Halo Infinity Challenge. So subscribe to our Twitter. It's in the description below. I'm Scout with three guns down. I'm out. See you guys later.